Alright YouTube, I'm here today to demonstrate what happens when you have too low of a VRAM. I have in my setup an i5-4460 and an R9-270 with 2GB of VRAM. It'll show you low video memory detected. I'll show you my settings. Basically uh, maxed out 1440p exception of dynamic render quality. And this chunk didn't load in. I'm assuming it didn't fit into the VRAM. You see what happens is the game will just completely well stop. Something that I've noticed is giving your RAM an overclock well, does seem to help ever so slightly with this. Because it just gives it a bit more bandwidth, which makes it a little quicker for it to be able to get its uh, data in and out. Which makes the uh, low VRAM not as much of a As you can see, I'm still hitting around 60 FPS despite the graphics card that I have. But the problem is low video memory. And I can't get around that. It'll look great. It'll play great, but no matter how you put it, if you got low VRAM, all you can do is get a new card. Hey, uh, turning this down to 1080p or even reducing the particle quality just a little bit works just fine for me. Matter of fact, this is actually a 1080p native monitor. I'm just using it with uh, a few other little interesting settings, as in dynamic super resolution, which, while Many say they can't see the difference in something like this. I very much so can. Especially in games like Rocket League. And this game's, but this game right here is already beautiful. So, just about anything I can will make it look even better. See? There was uh, another good example. See if I can actually get it to be even worse. Maybe if I crash hard into a wall. Or not. Now, I'm not saying that this stuttering makes the game unplayable, it just really doesn't help. So, I think that means it's...